just ask you a couple of questions with regards to momentum multiply but more so with mental health in thrown in there sprinkled in there so the first question i'd like to ask you is what has momentum multiply done to zero in on mental health specifically that can appeal to younger generations that use social media and technology? That's a good question. Um, so I think it's it's around creating awareness mm -hmm. so that we can normalize it. Mm -hmm. yes. And by that I mean, you know, there are a lot of young people that do experience and actually suffer with depression and anxiety mm -hmm. and they don't understand what drives that. They don't understand the drivers and they also don't understand that they have the power to change it. Mm. And what we have seen in our data and through our programs is a lot of that relates to poor life skills. Yes. No one has taught us, no one has educated us mm. on, on how to deal with this, on how to understand the drivers and also how to engage with life in a meaningful way yes. when we are yes. thrown stresses and, and challenges. So if I think of the younger generation, particularly mm. started with the millennials, but it's now <laughs> progressed since then, you know, they're coming to the workplace with a whole different set of values to what, what we had. Yeah. They've been exposed to technology in a way that we weren't when we were younger. Yes. They're now suddenly having to become independent. They have different um, things that they value in the workplace. Mm -hmm. And so what we have seen is many, well, the younger generation, they're feeling the pressure yes. of life. And, and they're also overwhelmed with information that we were never overwhelmed with. So what do you do with all of this? Mm -hmm. And so what we've done using the technology is we have um, a screening tool mm -hmm. that's built into our app. Every morning you can place your finger on the back of the smartphone camera and you can just assess what your uh, capacity or energy levels are like to pace the day. Now this is measured through the quality of sleep that you've yes, had overnight, yes. but also what your nervous system looks like or has looked like over the last 24 hours. So it's a 90 second um, screening tool that acts as a proxy that tells us the, how, your re how your immune system and how your nervous system is functioning. Mm. And so if you don't get a good score, then your energy levels are not going to be great. So what we're doing with, particularly with the younger generation, our younger members, is creating a level of awareness mm -hmm. that this is what it means and this is what you can do about it. That's great. That's great. Is there any also in terms of, as somebody who has been diagnosed with high functioning depression myself, I tend to look at um, certain apps and features with a very mental health focused eye so would you say that momentum the app itself momentum multiply multiply rather uh, provides a platform using you mentioned ai earlier on using ai where somebody can maybe connect with the with somebody who may be able to help them through the the app itself so not in the app yet okay. we are partnering with the likes of wiser you heard pranav a bit earlier yes, where we're yes. using ai machine learning as a chatbot where you can have a, a conversation mm -hmm. so that's coming soon that's um, i think what's important is the immediacy you know mm -hmm. if you especially if you have high functioning depression anxiety things happen throughout the day mm -hmm. and you don't want to wait you don't want to wait to make an appointment you yes. want to be able to speak to somebody right away. Yes. And I think that's what the technology does. It, mm. it, it's that immediacy of being able to talk to somebody. So it's in our plans um, and, and we have other plans beyond that mm -hmm. um, that will, will give the younger or all our members access to support. Uh, what I do want to mention though yeah. is, you know, when you're talking to somebody, you're already experiencing the problem which is important to get that support. Yes. But what we're really trying to do through the app and the multiply program mm. is what happens before that. You know, before it escalates to the point where you feel like, you know, I'm, I'm lost. Mm. And it's a journey. It's a journey and yes. it's, it is actually creating this resilience muscle. People underestimate how important that is, especially women our age, because we are taught from a young, 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 young mm. age, just get over it, get on with it. Yes. You know, just yeah. keep going. And so we're taught to suppress what we're feeling. Mm. We don't understand what it means. And so that's what we're trying to do is the prevention before it escalates, yes. but even when it does escalate, to give yes. people the tools and the resources they need to change that. Okay. 
Finally, I'd like to ask you to the modern woman on a day where you are maybe having a bad mental health day, what could, or they are having a bad mental health day, what could you say, maybe incorporating multiply in there as well, that might be able to um, alleviate the stress of a bad mental health day? How could you advise them uh, if somebody's having a bad mental health day to kind of just make it a little bit easier so that they can be kinder to themselves? I think women, we are complex beings mm -hmm. and we wear multiple hats, have multiple roles. And so taking the time, especially when you have a bad mental health day, to reflect is so important. Again, the technology around a recharge scan is so important because it helps you measure it. And yes, depending on what yes. the results is, it gives you some direction. But what I want to say and, and what we do promote in the program is that reflection is so important. Mm -hmm. To just take the time to slow down. Yes. It's part of self-care, you know, and just to listen. And what I have found, you know, especially for working women, especially if you're between the ages of 35 and 55, mm -hmm. when there are lots of physiological changes happening, mm -hmm. is, you know, reflect and write things down in the evening. You'll be quite surprised in the morning when you read your notes again. So if there was somebody you were thinking at lashing out to when you've had a bad mental health right, day, right. wait until the evening to write it down, reflect, let it go. In the morning, read it and you'll find that, that, you've, that it's no longer an issue for you. And sometimes you just get the insights and clarity you need by just slowing down to think and reflect and then look at it again and, and make a choice on how you want to, on the next step you want to take. I think it's so important for women. But I also yeah. think for women our age, education is yeah. very important. Mm. Thank you so much. Marcia, Eugenio, thank you so much for having thank a little bit of a me. conversation with me regarding Momentum Multiply and technology and mental health in the digital age. See you soon.